Well, good morning again, my brother. Okay, good I appreciate you coming through this morning. Okay. How long have you been dealing with these issues here now? Uh, it's been over five years. Five years. Yeah. You see, you went to a, another podiatrist. How long ago was that? Uh, this time I went in was uh, a few months ago. Okay. Uh, yeah. He wanted me to come back, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't like the way he did it. So like I said, I've been watching you on that. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to come down here. Gotcha. What, is, what has your treatment been to this point? Of uh, treatment? Mm -hmm. He just gave me some cream. It didn't mm -hmm. work. Okay. You know. Well, let me tell you why it's not going to work. Because when the nails get this thick, mm -hmm. nothing's really going to penetrate. Okay. See, most, most of the infection is underneath the nail. See all that? Yeah. That's caked under there? Yeah. Well, topical medications, creams, and other types of formulations won't penetrate that hard nail plate to get to where this is. Okay. So I, that's why those don't work. So what would, uh, what would be the medication for yourself? Well, what I'm doing now, I'm collecting the toenail samples, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to send them to the lab. And the lab is going to look at them under the microscope. Mm -hmm. They're going to run a DNA test on what they see to identify the actual organism mm -hmm. or organisms if it's more than one. Okay. Often it's more than one these days because the, uh, the testing is so much more sensitive. Okay. Once we know what the uh, organisms are, we know the better way to go about treating it rather than just throwing something at it and see if it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Now, how long ago were you diagnosed with diabetes? Oh, well, back in, shoot, I guess more than 10 years ago. More than 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. And you've, you've had a kidney disease for how long now? Kidney disease, uh, ever since uh, 2013. Okay. And how, and how long were you on the transplant list before you got the kidney transplant? Uh, uh, for three, three and a half years. Okay. Uh -huh. And so you were to get your transplant, you know, Back. relatively quickly. Yeah. But you said uh, earlier that the, the kidney transplant was only effective for about a year? Mm -hmm. a, a, a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. Okay. Well, 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 from 2013, I was forced to retire. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a truck driver. Okay. And um, my hands and things full up. I couldn't, couldn't really um, shift the, the gears in the truck. So I went on a medical trip. I leave for a month. Mm -hmm. And then um, they uh, told me I had to come back. But I wasn't able to come back. You know, so that's when I went on dialysis. Okay. And um, I was on dialysis until... Um, 2017, that's when I, uh, they called me and said they had a kidney for me. Okay. And so I went over there, and uh, like I said, it lasted for a year and a half. And then I had to go back on dialysis again. So for that year and a half, you you didn't need dialysis anymore? Uh, well, when they put it in, it was, uh, I, I still was on dialysis for six months before it kicked in. Okay. Yeah, so after that, then it kicked in. And then, um, you know, uh, you know, you know, like I said, the last one year and a half, and after mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know, now, you know, I can say I'm back on it now. So. Mm -hmm. And so now that you're back on dialysis, are that are you back on the transplant list, or how's uh, that looking? Well, I should be back on the transplant. Well, like I said, I have to lose 20 more pounds and then they'll put me back on the list. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did they say why the uh, the first transplant stopped working? Um, it's because my body rejected it. Okay. It, it was, I kept getting, uh, BK, that's what it was, BK virus. The BK, okay. I, I kept getting a, B, a BK virus. 
and they had to keep taking biopsies. Mm -hmm. And then we say it, and they said, it's, uh, your body is uh, rejecting the kidney. Wow. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure you were on anti-rejection medication and all that? Yeah, yes, I was. Yeah. A lot of medication I was on. I had to wow. take every, every day. And see, everything that you've been talking about mm -hmm. lines up with what's happening with your feet here. Because diabetes and transplant and taking transplant medications lowers your immune response. Okay. All right. So it's often that we see people in this situation get fungal infections like this because the immune system is not as strong as it should be. Mm -hmm. You know, are well, any of these nails causing you any discomfort, any pain? Oh, yes, you do. Okay. Especially when you get just a this, my toes are real tender. Mm -hmm. You see how this nail from the fifth toe mm -hmm. is actually pressing on the top yes, of the fourth yes. toe? Yeah. You can actually see the line here where the toe has been digging in. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen instances where that has caused a wound. Okay. Where the toenail is, is really dug into the next toe, breaking the skin, causing an infection. It hasn't been that far yet. No, no. It was close, though. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you came in today. Got taken care of. Right. Now, you said that uh, after the transplant, you did not need your diabetes medications anymore. Right, because um, it went away. Okay. When you say it went away, what does that mean exactly? I, mean, I didn't have to take medication anymore. Okay. Is that still the case? Huh? Is that still the case? Excuse me? Is that still the case? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. So you still don't take diabetes medication? No. Okay. So here's the school of thought on that, at least for me. Right? Uh -huh. Diabetes is one of those conditions that once you're diagnosed with it, it's an issue you have to deal with for life. Yeah. Whether you're taking medication for it or not, yeah. you know, you still have to, you know, look at yourself still as being a diabetic. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you still have to take those precautions, especially when it comes to foot issues mm -hmm. and everything. You still have to make sure that your blood sugar is staying normal. All right? Yes. I mean, are you, uh, <clears throat> do you still test your blood sugar at home? No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. What about your blood work? I mean, you're going, you're back in dialysis, so I'm sure that you're getting yeah, numbers yeah. pretty often. Yeah, they do blood work all the time. Okay. My A1C is good. What, what was the last reading? Uh, last reading, uh, sure. Oh, I really forgot. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. Okay. Yeah, it was below six. I believe, I believe, it, I, 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 well, I can't say I believe it was because I really don't remember. Okay. So, um, I do know, um, they tested, uh, I think, quarterly. Okay. And uh, they would have been there gave me some medication. They, you know, the doctor come around once once or twice a week to check on me. Okay. So, if, if it was high, they definitely would have gave me some medication. My blood pressure, I don't take any blood pressure medicine. My blood pressure was... Um, real high, but they started giving me uh, uh, monitoring. Okay. And so I was taking that, and now I don't need to take that anymore. So mm -hmm. the blood pressure is good. Very good. Now, how often do you go to dialysis every week? Three, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Okay. Hmm? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And how do you feel after coming out of uh, dialysis? Oh, a lot of people are very, very I'm fatigued really when they come tired. out. Yeah. I go home, I have to go to sleep for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some days I get off, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. And how long are your sessions generally? Three, uh, three and a half hours. Okay. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people don't understand that it is fatiguing, even though you're sitting in a chair or lying on a table mm -hmm. for three hours. 
that process of dialysis is very fatiguing to the body. Yeah. People, I've heard people say they when they come out of dialysis, it feels like they just finished running a marathon. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can be real tired. That's right. Okay. So you see how much I had to trim back. Mm -hmm. What I believe in is exposing as much as the nail bed, which is this pink part here, as possible. Again, this is where the infection is, so that's where you need to get to. Mm -hmm. The other guy, like I said, he, all he did was trim it down, mm -hmm. and that's it. Sometimes he did a, well, I don't know what you call this thing, file, file it down a little bit, mm -hmm. and that's it. You ever have the nails tested before? No. No? Okay. Here's our collection here. Let's see what else. Should be more than the lab needs. It's better to give the lab too much than not enough. Mm -hmm. This is irritating me, though. Another little tickle. Okay. Now that I'm cleaning it, you can see the different colors of the nail, right? Mm -hmm. You see that often when there's more than one organism causing the problem? Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like the real dark zone, could be dried blood. From something hitting the toe or from the shoes. Mm -hmm. We got different shades of brown here, black, yellow. Mm -hmm. Now you can see why it's very important to expose as much of the nail bed as possible. Mm -hmm. Most of the time I don't have to physically remove the nail because exposing a, a good amount of the nail bed along with treating it with meditation, does the trick. And then like it file the nail down as much as possible to get rid of as much of the thickness mm -hmm. and make it more comfortable inside your shoe. Well, the organisms, the fungi, yeast, things like that, there's some of that naturally lives on our skin. Mm -hmm. And if circumstances are right, like in your case, right? diabetes, dialysis, transplant, transplant rejection medication, mm -hmm. you know, those stronger numbers can grow out of control, out of balance with everything else. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that even though you've had the, a, a transplant and you no longer need diabetes medication, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you're not a diabetic anymore. Okay. Transplant is not a cure for diabetes. Otherwise, every diabetic would get a transplant. You know what I mean? Yes. So, right now, keep treating yourself just as if you still had to maintain that blood sugar like you do. Diet. Right. Not the kind of good stuff. Like you said, they, they want you to lose another 20 pounds mm -hmm. before they put you back on the transplant list, which is hard to get on and stay on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So do those good things. I'm going to take care of your feet like this every couple of months. All right? Mm -hmm. Make sure that everything stays good and healthy here. Keep these nails from growing over onto the next toe like this one yeah. was. Yeah. All right? Nah, I won't let that happen. No, no, no. I'm gonna keep you squared away, my friend. Okay. All right, man. Okay, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. You got it.
This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your family and friends and ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. If you have any of the issues in this video or any of my other videos, see a podiatrist as soon as possible. But most importantly, take care of your feet.